By the way, you seemed real fired up back when we first met. Was that an act Mona put you up to? You know, the beauty thingy? That was... um... I was trying to be a heroine of justice. Uh... is that a joke? You moron! Ever since I was young, people around me have never seen me for who I really am. They would be kind to me just to please my father and we get money and presents in exchange. Adults, teachers, even friends. It seemed like everyone smiled at me for their own personal gain. That's why you kept the details of your family a secret at school. But the female superheroes I used to see on TV were so great. They always fought for others, not themselves, and they were always happy. I wanted to be just like that. Even though I knew it was a fantasy, I still looked up to them. Everyone goes wild over heroes at some point. It's fine having someone like that on our side, right, Joker? What are you doing here? Uh, huh? This is insane on so many levels. I thought I told you not to associate with vulgar people. Bastard. Him? Did he come into the palace too? No. He might look the same, but that isn't the real person. Remember what I explained to you earlier? You mean about the cognition thing? What are you mumbling about? Do you recall what I said before? That I would do my best for you? This is my answer to that. Are those... the rumored phantom thieves? I see. <laughs> You're handing them over to me as a plea for forgiveness. Overcome failure at any cost, even if it means betraying others. You truly embody the Okumura motto. Very well, join me. Why do you only ever think about gains and losses? That's why the company has a bad reputation. All because you treat people like they're tools! To gain, you must give. One must be resolved to give even more if they wish to stand above others. We are on vastly different levels. And soon, I will rise to a new stage. The political world. The cold reality of kicking people down is a part of business. Virtue and sentiment are for losers. <laughs> Okumura Foods shall be the foundation of my victory. His company is just a stepping stone. Mr. Okumura, we don't need a girl who's been soiled by thieves. Unless you make some compromises. I can't introduce her to my father. She needn't be your lawful wife anymore. Take her as your lover or whatever it is you desire. Very well. I accept. Lover? I was raised under this company's wealth. I even accepted a political marriage for you. This is not what we discussed. Father, you want me to be that man's plaything just to satisfy your own ambitions? <laughs> Why fret? You should be overjoyed that you're fulfilling your role as an Okumura daughter. This is the only value you've had from the very beginning. So, even his own daughter's life is a commodity to him. I... Now, why don't you come to my place? So vulgar. No! Haru's persona won't stand a chance against that! Don't worry! 
She hadn't awakened to her real power. That's all. How dare you? I see you finally made up your mind, my dear fated princess. Freedom for you must stem from betrayal. If you still yearn for it now, then you must not err. Now tell me, who shall you betray? My heart has been set. You should know. Yes, that gaze! I can finally display my true strength! I am thou, thou art I! Let us adorn your departure into freedom with the beautiful <laughs> betrayal! Jeez! Farewell, dear father! I am no longer your subservient puppet! Then so be it. You're worthless. Hm. Deal with them how you wish. You poor thing. I'll toy with you until you break. I don't expect you to come to reason at all. Uh-huh. We should have just told you this from the start, asshat! We are the Phantom Thieves. Here to take your bride! who steal from others need to be severely punished. How you, you good girl, come be my toy. I have no intentions of talking to you. For the sake of changing my father's heart, I cannot lose. So this is Haru's true power. Haru. All right, let's do this. Time to pummel that scummy jerk. Persona! Tuck them, Okay, you knocked one down. Persona! This is a part of me!
I did it. I did it, Monachan. What were you saying about her persona being weak? Uh, he disappeared. Is that okay? Are you sure you taught her how things work in here? I did. Or so I thought. What's the point if she doesn't get it? Don't worry. Cognitive beings have no correlation to their real-world counterparts. You'll see when we get back. I guarantee he will be okay. Then he's not dead? That's right. Dude, does this mean we got a new teammate? Good to have ya. Uh... She already has a code name. You can call me Noir. Noir? It means black in French. I'd like to be a heroine of justice, but the Phantom Thieves are on the darker side of the law. I chose the name Noir to remind me of that. There you have it. As long as she's into it. She created quite an elaborate backstory. Noir? I like it. It conveys a dignity that won't bow down to others, as well as a rebellious spirit towards society. Thank you. Don't let your guard down, Noir. Our trip through the palace doesn't end until we steal the treasure, after all. Yes, sir! Someone's talking all big again. <laughs>